I'm Steve Wiggins, and this is the Groundworks Ministries podcast. Today we're reading from the book of Proverbs, chapter 18. Let's focus on verses 20 and 21. A man's stomach shall be satisfied from the fruit of his mouth. From the produce of his lips he shall be filled. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and those who love it will eat its fruit. So today's proverb focuses largely on various ways that our words are a reflection of who we are on the inside. And as children, we learned the schoolyard rhyme, sticks and stones can break my bones, but words can never hurt me. But that isn't really true, is it? Words can sometimes hurt more than fists because their damaging effects strike deeper into our sense of self-worth, into our psyche. Jesus taught that exact same lesson, Luke chapter 6. Verse 45, a good man out of the good treasure of his heart brings forth good, and an evil man out of the evil treasure of his heart brings forth evil. For out of the abundance of the heart, his mouth speaks. Words can build up or they can tear down. So our highest priority should be that we know God's word to the extent that it controls our speech and our actions. Notice how Jesus, who was the word made flesh, Notice how he used the Bible to defend against Satan's schemes. Have you heard the saying, you are what you eat? Well, Jesus consumed God's word, as it were, as if it were food. And as a body draws nutrition from food, so Jesus drew it from the Bible. Matthew chapter 4, verses 1 through 4. Then Jesus was led up by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. And when he had fasted forty days and forty nights, afterward he was hungry. And now when the tempter came to him, he said, If you are the Son of God, command that these stones become bread. And Jesus answered and said, It is written that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. You see, Jesus saw it as his utmost priority to obey God's commands in the Old Testament. Thus, he lived out the faithful declaration of Job. Look at what Job said. Job 23, verses 10 through 12. But he knows the way that I take. And when he has tested me, I shall come forth as gold. My foot has held fast to his steps. And I have kept his way and not turned aside. I have not departed from the commandment of his lips. I have treasured the words of his mouth more than my necessary food. Or what about Deuteronomy chapter 8, verses 1 through 3? Every commandment which I commanded you today, you must be careful to observe that you may live and multiply and go in and possess the land of which the Lord swore to your fathers. And you shall remember that the Lord your God led you all the way these 40 years in the wilderness to humble you and to test you, to know what is in your heart, whether you would keep his commandments or not. So he humbled you, he allowed you to hunger, and he fed you with manna, which you did not know. Nor did your fathers know that he might make you know that man shall not live, as Jesus said, by bread alone, but man lives by every word that proceeds from the mouth of the Lord. You obey the Word of God, and let the Lord work on the providing stuff. I'm Steve Wiggins, and this is the Groundworks Ministries podcast. Groundworks Ministries operates entirely through financial donations from faithful people like you. And yes, we do need your monthly support. Donating is secure, and it's easy at our website, groundworksministries.com. Another way to help is to tell people about Groundworks Ministries. You can share these podcasts with friends and family and on your social media. And of course, you can always direct folks to our website, groundworksministries.com.